Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we're going to talk about the email marketing tool Aweber. So I'm sure you've heard the saying that the money is in the list and Aweber is designed to maximize that list. So with Aweber you put a form on your website that allows users to submit their email address in order to get access to your newsletter and essentially join your list. So you can get started with Aweber for just a dollar. You can click on the link in the description to get started. That's my affiliate link. Or you can go to onlineincomeriver.com backslash Aweber. And after your first month, it's $19 a month for your first 500 subscribers. Then the price goes up according to the number of subscribers you have. Regardless of the number of subscribers, you can send as many emails as you want. The other important thing to note is there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So that $1 gives you full access for a month. If you like it, you keep up with it. If you don't, you lost a dollar. But I'm sure you're going to like it. So let's talk about some of the features. So given that Aweber is an email marketing tool, obviously you can create email newsletters. So they have tons of pre-made templates or you can make your own. They're HTML as well as plain text, so that's going to maximize the number of subscribers that can view the content. And then what I'll show you in this video is how to set up the form. So the forms, just like the newsletters, are easy to set up. There's tons of templates or you can design your own. They're very customizable and it's a breeze to get put, especially on your WordPress site, which is what I'll show you today. So you can manage your subscribers, you can filter them, you can put them into different subsets, you can have different lists for different websites. Uh, it's pretty powerful management. But most importantly is their autoresponder. And what the autoresponder is, is setting up multiple emails or a chain of emails that once a user joins your list, they'll get these messages automatically. So you can choose if you want to send one every day, once a week, once a month, whatever it may be. And the longer you've had your list, the more emails you've got, the longer you have this automatic contact with your, with your subscribers. It's really powerful. So let's get into using it. So I'm here in my account, and I'm going to show you how to create a new list and then how to create a web form. I'll show you the form I have on my website. So you scroll down, and on the right, I've got this nice form. Enter your name and email and submit, and then they'd be added to my list. I'm going to show you how to change that and put a new one in there. So all you need to do is create a new list. And they have a nice setup wizard that really walks you through the whole process, but I'm going to do that with you as well. So you're going to enter list name. And this is a and this is a test. You want to put in your from name. So I put my name at Online Income River so they know my website, they know where it's coming from. And then your address, which if you have your own address associated with your domain, you should use that um, rather than your Gmail address or Yahoo address. Now I've locked this out for my protection, but you need to include your contact information. This is by default, and this is because of the CAN Spam Act. It requires you by law to include a mailing address. If you want to receive an email every time somebody signs up, you can enter your name and email here, but you don't have to do that. Then click Save Settings. Then you're going to put in your company name, your website URL, your email signature if you have one, you don't need to. And you can put your logo now if you want to, you don't have to do that now. For the sake of this video I'm not going to. In the next section you can connect to your Twitter and Facebook. Again, for right now I'm not going to, but that's pretty self-explanatory. And then you're going to click Save Settings. On the next page you're going to load your confirmation email. So this is the email that's automatically sent as soon as they sign up. You can choose a pre-approved subject if you want to include their first name, if they included it um, in your web form, you can, or you can just keep it basic, or you can also create your own. All of this is customizable, so there's a generic message here that says we've received your information, blah, 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 blah. This is a good point to filter out people that you don't want on your list that maybe just signed up for a free product, but in here you can explain up to 500 characters what your site is about and more importantly what your newsletter is going to contain because you don't want to have subscribers that aren't interested in your content because they're just going to cost you money and I'm not going to edit that right now 
And then there's a confirmation link. You can't edit that part, but then you can add your custom closing if you want to add another 100 characters to say thanks for joining. And it's really encouraged to have opt-in, which means that the user is prompted to confirm that they want to receive your messages. So that's set to on by default, and we'll keep that. And then you want to enter a success page. So once somebody clicks on the form and confirms, they'll be directed to a page of your choice. Once you click Save Settings, our setup wizard down here is prompting us to create our welcome email. Technically, our list is already created, but we'll just show you that. We'll click Do This Step. Now, the welcome email is the first email they'll get after the generic response email asking them to confirm their subscription to your newsletter. So this is the first one to tell them what your newsletter is going to be about. It's not restricted to link. This is the first piece of real content, so you want to blow their socks off. So I'm not going to show you the whole setup of the email. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's drag and drop. You put your header in, then you can select a theme, and then all of this is just drag and drop so you can create a nice newsletter that you want. And then again, it's going to show a plain text version that's auto-generated based on what you put up here. So if someone can't read the HTML, they'll get the plain text version. So we're going to skip this step and go to the form building. So we're going to click Web Forms, and then we're going to click Create a New Form. So there's three parts to this process. First we're going to design it, then we're going to set the settings, and then we're going to publish it, which is putting the, putting the form on our website. So first of all we want to decide what fields we want. So I'm going to leave it just like it is, name and email address, but you can add someone's street address if you wanted to. You can also change if you want to add their last name. You can click here, and now you'll see that just added their last name. I'm going to just keep, keep the first name. And you could even take name out altogether and just have their email address. Sometimes people like to do this because entering two things makes less people want to subscribe. But I'm going to keep the name. And now, just like the emails, there's tons of templates that you can choose from that you can also make your own but for this video I'm going to choose the most basic form which sometimes the most basic is the best so we load this transparent background form I'm going to take the header out I'm going to take the footer out I do like to leave this email marketing by Aweber because again I'm an Aweber affiliate and you can put in your Aweber affiliate ID by clicking edit and then anybody that clicks that link on any page on your website, it'll go through their affiliate link. Uh, you can keep the email privacy if you want to. I'm going to leave it for now. You can resize the width here if you want to. You can make it bigger, wider, narrower. With the basic one, you can also edit the button. So I'm going to change the text to say, get instant access, and save that. And I'm good to go on to step two. There's more advanced settings there you can do, but that gives you a basic idea of how easy it is to set up. Now step, step two is the settings. We're going to keep the name just the same. I don't want to do Facebook integration. Now the thank you page, again, they're going to get a confirmation. So the preview of the sample page is just text. It says, you're almost done. Check your email to click and activate. You can also put them through a video response page, which is just a generic video that in video format tells them the same thing, or you can lead to a custom page. I'm going to keep the basic version, and then click go to step three. For step three, if you have WordPress, we're going to click I will install my form. And then you can choose the JavaScript or the raw HTML version. Either one works fine. I'm going to use the JavaScript just because it's easier to see the process. Copy and paste that. We're going to go back to our website. And you can see my form here. I'm going to edit this one here and show you the new one we just did. We're going to go up to our, our dashboard and go to widgets. And then in the text 
sidebar over here is where my previous one was. So I have some JavaScript. I already titled it. I'm going to change this JavaScript of my old form to the one we just created. Paste that in. Click Save. We go back to the website. And there you can see we've got the new form we just created. It was on that transparent background, so it's just showing through to the right. Somebody enters their email and their name, clicks Get Access, and they're added to my list. So hopefully that shows you how to use Aweber. Again, you can get started for just a dollar. If you're not quite sure still, if you want to, um, check out my website here at OnlineIncomeRiver.com and then scroll down on the right hand side I have a free Aweber test drive so you what you do with this put in your name and email address and Aweber is going to send you a sample of how powerful it can be they're going to show you what the autoresponder looks like they're going to show you a series of emails over a few days just like you would if just like you could do with your own Aweber account so it's pretty powerful to see it for yourself uh, that's completely free, no obligations, and you'll just get a couple emails to your email, and you can evaluate for yourself if you think it's worthwhile for your website. So again, go to my website at onlineincomeriver.com, come on down, enter your information, and then try that free Aweber test drive. So I hope that helped. Um, good luck creating your list. Again, you can use my affiliate link if you'd like to at onlineincomeriver.com backslash Aweber. So thanks for watching.